What's up everybody? We back. You know we picked up the VR6 this weekend. So today got Keith on the way with the uh, engine stand. So we're going to get ready putting this on the engine stand and start taking this thing apart. But I mean pretty much for today is just taking apart this engine, seeing how it was taken care of, seeing what kind of shape it's in. And cleaning it up and getting ready for new parts over time. Start building this thing up. In the meantime, also getting the engine bay ready, trying to scavenge what I can find for Mark III harness and whatnot. So, got a lot of work cut out, but it's going to be a fun project, man. It's the first Mark II build I've done. So, I'm really excited for it. And I love this car because it's really nostalgic. My parents used to have one when I was little. So, yeah. But, after this guy's done washing his daily, we're going to go ahead and move his Jetta back and get this thing ready get this pushed out clean up the garage a little bit get this engine stand in here put together and get the engine on it and get the grinding man k dub k dub k dub k dub Quick little update. Still waiting on the engine stand, but that's okay. We got the car pushed out. <clears throat> I went ahead and started spraying everything down with WD-40, so once I start taking it apart, things won't be so rusty. They'll at least be a little lubricated, so hopefully we'll have better luck with some stuff. But, like I showed y'all before, man, this thing's not in bad shape. Right now, I'm just working on cleaning out the rear motor mount threads on the block so that when we do get the engine stand I can mount it up directly to it and we won't have any issues progress will continue now the engine stand has arrived so I found four bolts that I could use for the engine stand I got that one exhaust manifold off because the other one has the engine mount on it so I can't really do that one but Keith is here and he has the engine stand Want some help there, big boy? AC Dolco. AC Dolco. That's my favorite brand. That's the jet. That's the uh, brand of my jack stands. Oh yeah, here we go. Merry Christmas. You filthy animal. Look at that. Let's go. So, I think one or two episodes ago, I told you guys 
it's important that when you buy an old car like an 80s model or 90s model Volkswagen for sure but I mean pretty much any car whenever you get one you don't always have to take the engine out like that's excessive but you always do want to make sure that you at least take some stuff apart the important stuff to make sure that it's operational and this is why so on the VR6's um, some of y'all may not know what the what why I say VR6 a VR6 is still a V6 like most V8's how they're a 45 degree angle engine with two cylinder heads this is still a V engine but it is a 15 degree it's a narrow angle V6 right under one cylinder head you have one two three four five six uh, that was opposite but whatever you have six pistons under here right that's the way this engine is set up this is the front side of the engine technically that's where cylinder one is most engines will have a timing belt or timing chain on the front side of the engine vr6s do not they are on the back side transmission side that's why when most vr6s jump timing or their timing chains stretch and mess up jump a tooth or whatever most people just sell the car because doing timing chains on these is a very expensive job um, I just did one recently for a coworker, but if you don't know how to do it and you don't know somebody who can it's a very expensive price to pay to get the timing chains done on a VR6 and this guy said this engine ran. <clears throat> I don't doubt it. I haven't found anything yet that states otherwise, but this is a uh, timing chain guide, guys. Oh my god, my camera is going nuts. Either way, whatever. This is the top half fell off. I took that bolt off, and it just came off, man. Same thing happened in my blue one in Arizona. I took my engine out and did all of this in Arizona. Nice refresh, but notorious problems with VR6's are these plastic chain guides failing so you know I could have just took this engine and threw it in and then next thing you know it's making hella noise because these timing chains would be rattling so it's another factor of just checking your car man checking the engine checking anything you buy that's old he said it ran don't doubt it but I know that motherfucker was making noise with that broken guide but just wanted to show y'all that so just remember man I mean y'all can always hit me up ask me what I think about something I can't tell you everything about a car but there are a lot of things about cars that you can tell easily whether or not it's a good purchase or not listen to the engine uh, pay attention how it revs up when you're driving it and you're giving it gas make sure it's a smooth power band as you speed up and that there's no noises knocking sounds ticking sounds like all of these are clear indications of maybe I should not buy this car and I guarantee you that this engine sounded just like that loud ass clacking sound anybody that knows the VR6 how it's supposed to sound like this quiet that would have been loud as hell really loud but once I take this chain off we'll go ahead and pop the head off and we'll see what the cylinders look like hopefully it's not too bad Alright, the head is off. It's not in terrible shape. I mean, this guy didn't, well, I'm not going to say this guy, but he's a cool dude. But whoever owned it before him, he only had it for a little bit. They obviously didn't use synthetic oil since the day they bought the car. That's what that brownish stain is on the head. If you use synthetic oil uh, since you buy it, since the day you buy a car, the inside of your engine will not get discolorated like this over time because of how... Hello? Hey, baby. What you got there? I actually came so you can have a... Take a bite. Take a bite of what? 
the sandwich from Jason's Deli. Wow. And the pickle, because I know you like the pickle. Pickles. <laughs> All right, BRB. And we're back. So, where was I? Oh yeah, synthetic oil. So, one second, my bad. Yeah, so, <clears throat> when you use synthetic oil from the day you buy your car, it doesn't do this staining like this because of how, <clears throat> basically how much more slick the oil is. I'm not gonna say it's cleaner, but it's smoother basically. So when it gets hot, it doesn't burn in this color to the aluminum. But the pistons seem to be in pretty decent shape. They are pretty glazed. As you can see, it looks like a polished finish in there. But, and you can see that he was burning oil a lot. That's why all of this is so black. Or maybe his PCV system wasn't working right. That's positive crank ventilation. It takes oil vapors from the bottom side of the engine, throws it into the intake to burn it. Don't know why. It's fucking stupid. It's just for emissions. But... This engine's not in bad shape, I'm not gonna lie. I, all I gotta do is send it to the machine shop, get the the top resurfaced, get these either bored out bigger for bigger pistons or just rehoned. So you're supposed to have a cross hatch pattern inside of your pistons. You can still kind of see a little bit of it in here, probably not on this camera, but in person you can still see some of the cross hatch and some of the cylinders, but like this one is just polished it's so shiny but that's a vr6 it is a v it's not an inline it's not a four cylinder for all you volkswagen haters but yep now it's time to take apart the bottom end flip this thing over start taking these pistons out making pretty good progress today i might stop yeah I'm going to stop, clean up the garage a little bit and relax, back to normal work schedule tomorrow. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Next episode will be taking apart the bottom end, taking apart the head, cleaning it off, and then getting it sent out to the machine shop, both of them maybe, depending on the time frame on that. But yeah, man, we're going, making progress. I'm really, really excited. This is going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. But yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Should I bore it out? Leave it 2.8 with just forged internals and boost it? Or make it bigger? Let me know. Appreciate y'all for watching. Love y'all. Stay safe.